爸爸，爸爸爸，拼。When I decided that I wanted to get petroleum out of my life, it didn't mean that I wanted to stop driving. So I had to say farewell to my Subaru and get hold of what I call the ROAT, the ridiculously oversized American truck. I needed the clearance because the last mile of the alleged road leading to the Funky Butte Ranch is maintained with the regularity of the highway system in, say, Somalia. So. I had this two-tour Iraq vet mechanic do this conversion, and he said, by the way, that um, he wanted to get America off of petroleum because maybe people would stop shooting at his chopper when he was trying to land. And um, I've never looked back. I mean, I hardly ever have to go to the pump. Four years later, it's just terrific, okay? Now, in the name of full disclosure, I should say that there are a couple of downsides to driving on vegetable oil. The first one is, even with unhealthy North American dietary trends, which I'm suddenly rooting for, is there enough waste oil in all the grease traps behind every fast food joint to keep 300 million people's fuel tanks filled? And the answer is no. And that's why as a society we almost have to get a wartime mentality going to really focus on research into good biofuels, sustainable biofuels, but also to make sure that we get our grid off of coal and onto solar and wind so that when we plug in our electric cars of the future, we're plugging into a, a sustainable fuel. Now, the second problem with driving on vegetable oil is probably best described as don't drive hungry. Um, I get most of the grease that I drive on from the Chinese restaurant in town, and the exhaust frankly smells like Kung Pao chicken. To demonstrate the profundity of the effect of that exhaust on other drivers, I think it's best to do a field experiment, otherwise known as a road trip. So we'll fill up and we'll be on our way. Now, I've chosen the post-lunch hour to really demonstrate the munchies-inducing power of the ridiculously oversized American truck's uh, vegetable oil exhaust. Nobody should be hungry now. This is the closest traffic light to the Funky Butte Ranch at 40 miles, and it just happens to be just prior to the Golden Dragon Chinese restaurant. So I'm gonna give what used to be called gas, but in this case, I'm gonna call vegetable oil. And let's see what happens to the poor guy behind me. Excuse me, sir. Um, can I ask you, what are you doing here? Uh, I don't really know. I just suddenly had a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Huh. Uh, do you mind my asking, when was your last meal? It was about 20 minutes ago. You know, I, I really wouldn't be too embarrassed. Um, you've been, what we call in the industry, greased. This was actually a vegetable oil truck driving in front of you that gave it some gas, so to speak, and, uh, and it takes a couple of years to get immune to this kind of thing. Um, it gives everyone the munchies for a little while. Mm. Well, I'm still hungry. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Uh, oh, this, yeah. Um, well, you see, I, I get so much of my waste fuel from the oil behind the restaurant, I just thought I should be giving something back. This is, this is charity, really. Ooh, pot stickers. Next day's function, high-class luncheon. Food is served in your stone-cold munching. Music comes on, people start. 
about to dance, but then you ate so much, you nearly split your pants. A girl starts walking, guys start gawking, sits down next to you and starts talking.